You will not believe this. Today, we have a SpaceX Starship or IFT-6 update. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today, we have a little bit of fireside. So good, fiery, smoky. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today's a technology day. We'll be talking about SpaceX and Starship 6 or IFT-6, Integrated Test Flight 6, however you want to call it. And guys, I was right. This is really, really big news. Number one, we have a date revealed when IFT-6 is going to launch or could be launched, depends on the FAA approval, of course. We always have to wait on the FAA, not for long. I'll get into that before the end of this video. Also, something absolutely amazing, never done before by SpaceX, will be attempted on this next test flight. And this is exciting. I was reading an article, I wanna go through that with you today, give you my commentary as I always do. And then of course, I wanna hear from you. Down below, put your thoughts. What do you think about all of this? If you're shy, you don't wanna put anything down there, I get it, it's fine. Put an emoji down there. Put a rocket ship emoji or a satellite or a poop emoji. <laughs> Anything is good. I appreciate that because then I know that you're actually watching. So before we get into this article, I want to say that if you enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up. That is very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Click this little notification button over here so when I go live, when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And if you want more Starlink content, space news, let's say. I have about 360 plus videos I've put together just for you. And I put them into a nice little playlist right here. Don't click on it yet. Click on that link when you're done watching this video and you'll be able to find a whole bunch of how to's, tips, tricks, all kinds of stuff about SpaceX Starlink. Also, if you want to check out any of my free eBooks, go to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. They're 100% free just for you being here. And finally, if you want to say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, there's a thank you button. You can click on that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. The video is still free, but consider doing so or consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. So now that all the housekeeping is done, Let's jump right into this article. Then, of course, I'll give you my commentary. And finally, I want to hear from you. SpaceX is geared up for its sixth test flight of the Starship rocket, known as Integrated Flight Test 6, or IFT-6, and anticipation is building as the launch date approaches. Tentatively scheduled for when? November 18th. Holy crap. Anyways, I'll get into that in just a second. This next mission aims to push the boundaries even further by attempting to catch both heavy booster and Starship rockets itself, marking an unprecedented milestone in reusable rocket technology. Can you believe it? I was right. I said if they were able to catch the super heavy with the Mechazilla arms, Chances are on IFT-6, they're going to attempt to catch the Starship if the Starship was to land exactly where it was supposed to land. And it did, in the ex to the centimeter, exactly in the ocean where it's supposed to land, and it did. So, this is huge. So, number one, we have November 18th. That's literally just a couple of weeks away. Crazy. And number two here so far in this article that they might do a double catch. That's absolutely amazing, guys. This ambitious goal comes just weeks after SpaceX successfully caught the super heavy booster using the chopstick arms or Mechazilla, or sometimes I call them the salad tongs, a critical achievement that demonstrated their innovative launch tower system. Absolutely. IFT-6 promises to be yet another step forward in Elon Musk's long-term vision of making space travel routine and paving the way for missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. The up-and-coming launch is particularly significant as Starship's successful deployment is vital for NASA's Artemis program. We've talked about Artemis a lot in the past, which is set to return astronauts to the lunar surface by 2026. If successful, Starship's capabilities won't just benefit Artemis. They will also revolutionize SpaceX's own Starlink network. I talk about this all the time. This is big. 
as Starship is designed to carry next generation Starlink version 3.0 satellites that are roughly four times larger and 10 times more powerful than the current models. With this increased capacity, Starship will be able to deploy significantly more satellites per launch than the Falcon 9, potentially boosting global internet speeds, expanding coverage, and enhancing service quality, especially in underserved regions. Starship's development and reliability are crucial, as the spacecraft is slated to deliver not only cargo, but crewed missions for future lunar expeditions, reinforcing the importance of a smooth licensing process with the Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA. Yes, smooth would be nice. No barriers. God. The FAA's approval process has been a point of contention. Absolutely, with the previous delays frustrating SpaceX's rapid development pace. SpaceX has faced fines and regulatory hurdles with past launches, adding pressure for timely licensing to meet the November 18th launch window. Absolutely. Meanwhile, both the space community and fans are eagerly watching SpaceX's progress, especially after the recent rollout of the Super Heavy rocket to the Starbase for final preparation. The stakes are high for SpaceX as they aim for a dual recovery feat, which would revolutionize spaceflight economics by making both components reusable. Absolutely. So. This is really amazing information. I mean, number one, we're seeing a date of November 18th, which is just crazy to me. What are we on, like the 7th, 8th, whatever? I mean, that is unbelievable. This will be the fastest turnaround of an IFT, of an integrated flight test of one of the starships ever, okay? It would literally be like a month or less turnaround. That is just unbelievable. Also, like I predicted during the last IFT5, okay? I said, listen, if they're able to catch the Super Heavy, number one, and they're able to land the Starship exactly where it needs to land within centimeters, they are going to attempt a double salad tong, a double Mechazilla catch. And at that time, I said, you know, I think that that can happen only if they have that secondary site operational. So you need two Mechazillas because there's no way to get that super heavy off in time for Starship to come back and land on the exact same launch pad. It's not gonna happen. They need both operational, fully functional, and those Mechazilla arms working because they would capture super heavy over here and Starship over there. Unbelievable. But this all, once again, comes back to the FAA and their approval process. And as they were stating in this article, the hurdles that Elon Musk and SpaceX has been having to go through, just, just being dragged through the mud and just extended, extended. That last Starship was not supposed to actually launch until the end of November. Now we might see another Starship launch before the end of November. That's two. Something's going on with the FAA. The writing is on the wall. Now that we see Trump going to get back into office, we know Elon is very buddy-buddy with this guy. I think that SpaceX is going to really blast off. Pardon the pun. I really do believe it. And that is really great for us, SpaceX Starlink users, right? Because that means once Starship actually is launching continuously without any problems, they're gonna load that damn thing up with the Starlink version three satellites. As they said, 10 times the capacity, four times the size, hundreds of them, okay, at a lower Earth orbit. This is going to be major, guys, major. I think at that point, we will get to a possibility of seeing gigabit speeds. But if not gigabit speeds, we're going to see hundreds and hundreds megabits download speed increase. We're going to definitely experience upload speed increase, and we're going to see a reduction in latency. Where most people are averaging about, let's say, 30 to 40 milliseconds, I'm currently averaging about 20-some milliseconds because I'm very close to my pop or my point of presence. It's only about 70 miles down the road. So that is beneficial for me because I actually see sometimes latency or or pings that are around 14 milliseconds, 
18 milliseconds, which is insane. Those are literally like latency that you would get with like a cable company, even some fiber companies. So this is massive. This is really a big deal. Once again, a possibility of seeing IFT6 on November 18th. Wow. Be here because I will be covering it like I always do. Last time was like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you hanging out with me as I did commentary and we watched this thing together. All right. Um, I'll be doing it again. This is big. And if they are able to do the double, I don't even know, the double Mechazilla catch. <laughs> That will be just absolutely just awe inspiring. The world will watch that. I promise you, not just the folks here in the US, the world will be watching that double catch. And if it happens, wow, absolutely wow. The folks over there at NASA are going to be just high on the hog. They know that Artemis will be coming soon. Matter of fact, I have a patch, an Artemis patch. Check this thing out. Is this the coolest thing ever? Really close friend to the show brought this to me. This is awesome. Anyways, Artemis will be right around the corner, meaning that we might see another man on the moon before the end of 2026, maybe 2025. That is just unbelievable, guys. The times that we live in today are just, just awe-inspiring. Absolutely awe-inspiring. Just think about people around the world that have never had internet, that now have high-speed internet like a guy in the city somewhere. Could you imagine that? It's just incredible, absolutely incredible. Anyways, what say you? Down below, I wanna hear your thoughts about all of this. And once again, if you don't wanna put something down there, put an emoji, that'll make me happy. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools and my merch and my tools and my shirts and my tees and my books and everything else. Once again, jchristina.com. Pick something up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Attention all flight crew members, this is the final go, no go poll for operations. Raptor 1, Raptor 1, let's go. Raptor 2, go. Stage 1, go. Stage 2, go. Flight directors, go for launch. We have left on.
Landed. 